Hey there, welcome to day five, the final day of the Protein Push Challenge. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you and also just so proud of you. Listen, you learn a lot. There's a lot of information here and I hope that this has been truly beneficial for you and you're starting to see the benefits of adding in and making sure that you have consistency in your protein. I guarantee if you did what I've taught you over the last few days, you're already seeing the benefits of it. But as always, consistency is key. So even beyond these five days, it is very, very important that you continue to implement these habits and these things that I've taught you about protein over the last few days, because that's where you create sustainability and you start uh, reaping the long-term benefits of these things. Now, I've taught you about breakfast, lunch, snacks, and dinner. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about how the heck do we bring this all together? Because I, talk, I, I told you in the beginning, like, you can take breakfast and take three days to implement breakfast if you want to. It's entirely up to you. But that is what's called sustainable habits versus trying to do everything at one time. So if that's how you're doing it, it's 100% fine. And I want you, if you skip the day, I don't want you to feel like you messed up or you fell off the wagon or anything like that. You pick yourself right back up and get get back on it. It's fine, it's cool. And I hope you, you had a lot of fun with this. Now. One of the things that I want to point out here is, although we have been really focusing on protein, that's what this is all about, after all, the protein push challenge, and we're getting protein. But I do want to point out that it is important to also learn how to balance that with the rest of your macros, which is your carbohydrates and your fats. So although it, protein is the king, and we want to really learn about protein and how to implement that more, you do have to have some balance within your other macros in order to match that with the protein as well. So with that being said, if you are someone that wants to learn how to strategically do that, I want you to take a look at the, the meal plan that I have attached because I created, a, along with a registered dietitian, I created a macro balanced meal plan. And what this is going to teach you is how do I balance my meals in this entire meal plan and then teaches you how to do it on your own with additional recipes attached. It helps balance things out and gives you an overall view of what that should look like. And then you can adjust your calories and your macros based on your own personal needs if you know what those are. But this meal plan is like a guiding point. It's a starter to teach you those next steps and what that should look like when it comes to your other two macros. Listen, it's $9.99. <laughs> it's, it's like pennies. Grab that meal plan and start implementing some of those steps once again. I'm so proud of you and I want you to continue on this journey, but I have one more request. I love hearing how just changing small things and small habits in people's lives literally like changes so many things in their lives. So what I want you to do is I want you to respond to this email. Yes, I read my emails and I want you to just give me two to three sentences of positive things that you recognize just by bringing in more protein. What did it do for you? And what are you going to do beyond this? Those are the things that I want to hear. So please let me know. For now, I'm signing off. Ask Coach, Coach Lizzie. Let's get protein. <laughs>